What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have Thor, Love and Thunder. So, kind of like an action pose of them. So, pretty complicated, take your time. Uh, hip pose, if I go too fast, use a pencil and an eraser. And try have fun. So, landscape page. He's sort of swinging Stormbreaker. He's like all electricity and stuff. So, we'll start with his face, alright? So, we're going to start up here with his nose right so the nose sort of curves out line out like so first right diagonally and then this will curve around into his face there so we got his nostril here and we'll put a shadow in under this because we're kind of looking up at his face, you know, up underneath his face. And then we can see his flaring sort of nostril coming out from around here. And then some like wrinkles for frowns and stuff. Just there. So, so top of his nose, right? His eyebrow, his eyebrow comes out from this, so it kind of like sticks her out, out this way, right? And his brow curves up around here. Up to his forehead, which goes up around like so, right? And you can see like a bit of eyebrow and wrinkles and stuff here. And then like maybe some of his eye or something glowing sort of here and a cheek, but not much. So just across from this, then we have the other eyebrow, right? So it'll go like curve down, up back this way, and then spike down the back. And then we will add a spike here and then bring this down to there. And then we could give him sort of some extra sort of frown lines just here. Some wrinkles, maybe just in the middle of his nose here, like this. Just some light lines like that for skin, sort of coming across his forehead. Maybe some lines just on the end of his eyebrow there. Right, so then his eye, so we just go top eyelid, right, goes up, across, and back down. And then we just sort of thicken this up a little bit just for to show its eyelashes. Like so. And then his bottom eyelid comes across this way. And then sort of curves down here, right? So it's some like bags underneath his eyes and stuff like this. And then his iris circle, kind of like an ellipse, so like a skinny circle, just turn this way. If you want, like you can do his eyes glowing white or you can add a pupil. inside so it's kind of up to you what way you want to do that and then we'll add just an eyelid line going down here and maybe going down towards his nose some more sort of frowning kind of wrinkles there Okay, so then he, he does have that scar going up his forehead back here. 
and then coming down his cheek. Just underneath his eye there. Like so. Right, so coming down from his nose, right, we have his beard and his jaw just up here. So it goes like up underneath his nose. And it's just, you do this kind of hairy line coming down there. Right, and that's like the center of his mouth here. And then it comes down the other side, just from. His face like that, right? And this beard goes down around his mouth, there, and then up the side of his face. And kind of like that. So his mouth is open, right? He's open mouth, kind of screaming, right? So we can see like his top lip coming across, say just underneath the beard, so just across here. And this has teeth just coming down here. They go back into his mouth like there. And then the top lip kind of goes in around there. Like that. And this is like all hairy beard. And then the bottom lip. Bottom lip will come out in, and then it's open mouth, right? So it goes, say, like this way, around the back of the mouth, back there, and then we can see some molars, like some teeth back in here. And then his tongue will just go back this way into the back of his mouth. And so that's his lips, that's his beard. And then, so he's got like this furry, hairy part here. And then that goes around his bottom lip sort of area there. And then his chin comes out, and big beardy sort of chin, hairy sort of line. Out around. And then up for his jaw. And you've got like some hair and texture lines and things for his beard. Got to make it look kind of hairy. And then and then the beard will join his sideburn here. Goes up like that. And then we got a mouth line. One down there. Kind of like a cheek line or something here. Okay, so that's teeth. If that makes sense now. Beard, mouth, lip, just there. Okay, so, so his ear kind of joins the sideburn. So the sideburn is like here, right? And the ear will go sort of out from behind this, right? So. And like the earlobe is down here, so then this ear goes up and around like here, and it's kind of in line with his eyebrow here. So this is like the top of the ear. So the top of the ear in line with the eyebrow. Okay. 
and then this goes around. The easiest way to draw your lines is like this letter J sort of thing. And then if you want, you can make it more detailed and maybe you can add some shadows and things inside if you want. So then his hairline, right, just here. So we got this V kind of thing. And then he has like a strand of hair that comes down across the ear here. It goes back to there and then this goes out like so. And like you can put texture and stuff on this. And then the other side around like so and then the back of his head because his hair is all tied up so it's kind of like it's a little bit bumpy but out around to there and then we have more strands of hair and stuff all sort of crisscrossing one another so we've got like a strand of hair here some texture all going this way like say another one so it's kind of up to you what way you do this now so hair moves and blows in the wind and all this kind of stuff so you know don't feel too pressured to do it exactly the way I do it long hair can be kind of tricky sometimes but we'll do our best you just want some strands of hair to come in underneath and over others you know like some from behind here it goes down from behind his neck. So like say the back of his neck, say he may have, so like the back of his neckline will go like there. And then go down here. So this is like a neck muscle line there. In the front of that neck muscle there. And then there might be like a hairline just there. And then all sorts of longer strands of hair, all these sorts of, some will go behind his shoulder. Just add some texture and things. And if you want like some single strands of hair, depending on how realistic you want to go with it. And how much texture you want to do. So, this costume is pretty complicated, right? So, I'll try and simplify it maybe a little bit. So that's his face pretty much. So let's see. Okay, so he's got a collar just here beside his neck. So we go, we get in the main shapes first, right? This comes down to there. And then this comes underneath his chin. And then this comes down like that for the inside of that collar. And then we have his shoulder and sort of chest plate area, right? So this comes out, down. His chest is like stuck out real far into there. And then his stomach, so this is all armor, right? Comes down this way. Straight down, and then we have a kind of a belt or something sticking off there. So then the other side of his 
body, right? So, right, so his shoulder and arm come out from underneath that disc here, right? So that disc where the lightning comes out. Around there, and we got like a top to it. Looks like a, like a UFO. Like so. And then his back sort of goes this way. Because he's kind of launching himself forward. And I'll just sort of thicken up some of these lines. So thickening up edge lines can kind of help. We are drawing a little bit, right? I come like that. And then, so there's another sort of shoulder plate here. And then Shoulder, bicep goes off the page, tricep down here, and then a bicep line just in there. Right? So then his other arm, so we've got all this armor. So say like arm plate here. And then shoulder plate kind of goes out from his shoulder, but we, we've got like shoulder muscle there. And then, so. Just moving things around. So then we have like his bicep, big bicep muscle, right? here and then the forearm sort of goes up into a glove or something there and then this bicep goes back down it's like a forearm line maybe going that way muscle there and then a shoulder muscle goes out from the like the bicep sort of the bicep goes in there and then another sort of muscle down into his armpit, which then goes down to here. And so that's like his back. And then his tricep is like underneath. So it goes in to there. Tricep. And then there's another muscle line that goes right down into there. So like, and you could have like some extra sort of tricep lines or something that way. And then this will go up eventually to his elbow, which will go around into his glove, right? So this is all the elbow there. All these sort of forearm muscle lines and stuff. Right, so like that, right? And then so we'll just get yeah, we'll get all this filled in and then we'll you know, worry about details then. So he's got like a cape red cape which bumps back here. And then it's got another sort of armor plate which goes into this disc. And then this goes up that way. And then down to there. Okay. 
so wrist sort of area right so bump around here this goes around his arm out here right you could put like some forearm muscle lines and stuff on his arm here and then this goes up in up and there's lots of different colors and shapes and stuff on this but we'll just get the general sort of shape for it in like that right So his hand comes out of there, holding the handle for Stormbreaker, right? So back of the hand here, and then he knuckles for them up, down. Like so, and then the handle will go that way. And then we can see like a couple of fingers or Stuff like sticking out here, and then some like knuckle lines and things just on the back of his hand. that and then so stormbreakers handle will go back this way and this is like a, a bumping kind of you know it's, it's Groot's hand isn't it so it's kind of all this bumpy kind of stuff and then that goes down there and then so so this is the main shape for his body anyway pretty much and then we go, Stormbreaker has this big end on it. Which comes out, down. Like this, and goes around. Some various shapes like that. And then the axe part of it up here, curves up, goes down and then into there. Right, so that's him pretty much, right? That's all the shapes that we're dealing with. So it's kind of like an extra thing here. Maybe I should see like some more cape or something here and hairlines and stuff just going down into the cape so then what we got to do right is add all texture lines and armor plating and lightning and details but that's the basic shapes for thor okay so and you know you can add his like hatching and all this shadow and stuff in his armpit and all that kind of stuff if you want and um, but let's go right no easy way of doing this so his chest comes out, goes up, around into here, right? And then we have this kind of arrow thing pointing down in the middle. There. And I think this goes back up to that disc. So it'll go up and back to the disc, right? And then this one goes out to the disc that's on his, his chest on this side. Similar kind of thing. Like so. And then there's top of that yellow golden thing on his chest here. And some red or something that comes across like so part of his cape obviously and then the other side of his chest will go down and meet that just there and of course there's more details inside all these details so depending on how much you want to do you know so 
I might simplify it a little bit. So there's uh, like there's more stuff inside all these discs here. Where do those lines go? No, they go the other way. This way. And then this goes underneath his arm just there. And there's another sort of line on the inside of it there. So then coming down from here, another sort of arrow pointing down, center line for his chest and his abdomen just there. And then a gold section just coming out from his chest. Like, okay, there's like another line around the chest here and then gold section comes down to a point there. Same thing on this side where it goes around, up, back up to his chest, and then this comes down to a point on his stomach. Phew, this is complicated. Right, let's go, just keep going. I'm gonna do as much as I can now. More armor there. Another line kind of running down this way. Let me just kind of break this up into all these different sections. Right, so that's that line. And then another line that goes down here. down there like his belt or something Finish this side. There's another sort of electric disc here. Another line around it, like so. Another line inside. And that one has lines going back that way. And then some more stuff going here. So much detail in this costume now. Just there. There. Going around like that. Something else, an edge on his shoulder. Then a gold line there. And then an edge on his chest. Coming around here. And then follow on that and then go down, down there, and then this goes back, back, around like so. Like that. And I know I'm not saying much, but there's not much to say. I'm just adding as much details as I can on its costume. So you're just breaking up the space into all these different lines. There 
is no easy way of doing it. You just kind of have to do it and just copy it as much as you can. Uh, I'm probably messing up some spots, but we do our best. And some lines here. And some more coming around his chest armor here. And on this down. So I think that's the best I can do on that side anyway. There is some like black sections. This is complicated now. I hope it helps someone out, but it is complicated. So then another sort of circular disc. There with circular discs inside. This is another level there, and this has like these lines coming around us. And then, so this comes out, goes down to there, and we have another disc down here. Another line beside that one. And a line in the middle. And then, so, so this line goes down towards his belt. That's like what this is. And this seems to have darker parts inside. something so these are all black just so say like here another line sort of going that way something going that way so that's just, it's just belt here so there's something coming out from this so underneath his chest so it goes down here and then it like curves around that and then it goes again there and right another line here to there 
I'm going to break this open into other sections again. Like so. And then this goes down. To there. And then there's this crisscross pattern inside this. Like so. And then more circular shapes coming around. So this like comes around here. And then goes down towards his belt. And this has a shadow or something inside. So we've got like a thicker sort of section here. And then this goes up into there. And then we break that up. So we go around again. And like again, like textures and stuff on his chest, scratches or, you know, on the armor and just trying to break this up as best we can. So I can't really see anything back here, but we'll do it anyway. Like so, and then something going around here. So we'll just break this up. I can't actually see anything. Like dots and scratches and stuff do help armor, you know, to make it look kind of like metal. If you put extra dots and little lines kind of like this, you know. Right, so that's difficult. Who has made it this far? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. It's fun to draw though. I'm enjoying myself. Right, so Stormbreaker, right? Oh, and the cape, I forgot his cape. So his cape like comes down around here and then goes up around here. Right, and it might have an edge sort of flowing down this way. Right, and there'd be some like faux lines and stuff back in here. So that's all just red cape inside. So then the Breaker of Storms, Stormbreaker, has details and stuff all inside it. So let's go. The handle. There's lots of these bumps and stuff going up it. And up around here. So these are all just sticks and twigs and you can add some texture on these then if you want. Right, to make them look kind of branches and and we go up the handle as well. And then on Stormbreaker itself. So we'll start from the bottom. So we gotta make it kind of look a bit 3D. So there's all these angles on it, right? So this goes up this way, diagonal, and then it'll go down, and then it goes in. You kind of do this point here, and then that'll go up, and then down 
move to that corner again. Trying to keep them as straight as we can. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. There's another line sort of on this. And this line will follow all the way back to there. And then we go again. So different angles now. So coming across here, down. This goes, where does this one go? So it goes down into the corner nearly, question mark. To there. And then we have an angle from there down to there. And there to there. And then an angle there, there. And then we go around again. Here. Edge line, edge line. Join them. And then down to here. And this comes down like so. And then on the base, we have a couple of circles. So like this, and then another one around the edge. And there's all you know, Norse kind of lettering and stuff on that. <sighs> but I won't draw it all in because this video will never end if I did that. So I'll just draw in these sort of edges on it. Just tracing the circles again, best as we can. Right, and then angles going back this way, lines just on Stormbreaker just going back this way. And then something else here. If I had a Sharpie that wasn't too wasted, let's try this one. Better in there. Down there, and then so up here we have an edge. So here that's our angle on that side. Then this sort of from here, this curve line goes down to there. And then some more details coming up the middle. So we've got this point here, and then this goes back down to there. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm just adding a shadow here. in his armpit. I think it needs it. Okay, back up here. Sorry. Get distracted easily. Up here. And then another one on the inside. Like that. And then there's some lines around that. So Coming out from say here up to there, from here to there, and then this goes in up. <laughs> this goes in up, and then outside that, this goes out in. Out, in, up like that. And then there's some stuff on the edge over here as well. Out, up, up, to there. And then something else over here. Like so. And I think that's the best I can do. And then, like, you know, 
dots and scratches and texture just to make it look a bit like metal. And then we just got to add some lines on his glove, like his wrist here. Just give this an edge. And then there's like blue section here. All these go around his wrist. So you're going these curved lines around there. Gold here. Down to there. And there. Some glass here. Just break it up kind of randomly. Okay, so then thicken up some of our edges and then we'll add the lightning. Should we see a little bit of his neck just here maybe? Like that and then like lightning. So like as much as you want coming out from all his thin or thick sort of all these coming across and whatever lines you go over you know and you just kind of color it blue here right that was super complicated. I'm sorry that ended up being really way more complicated than I thought, but hopefully it was fun anyway to watch even if you didn't draw. So that is how to draw Thor from Love and Thunder in the most complicated way I could. Not art simple, not art simple at all. <laughs> Um, anyway, I hope it helped someone anyway out there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.